the RTX 4080 12GB uses only 45% of the function blocks of the RTX 4090. Nvidia has declassified its new RTX 40 series graphics and the numbers don't add up. The top-end RTX 4090 board and the AD102 GPU contained in it look great from a technical point of view. But what Nvidia has done with the two RTX 4080 boards is deeply disappointing. When Nvidia launched the existing Ampere generation and RTX 30 series about two years ago, the RTX 3080 series board was a slightly stripped, down version of the RTX 3090, using the same GA102 chip and having about 80% of the performance of its older brother's functional units. In turn, the RTX 3070 used a GA104 GPU and provided about 55% of the RTX 3090's hardware. Now compare this to the new Ada Lovelace series. The RTX 4080 12GB uses the AD104 chip and offers only 45% of the RTX 4090 function blocks. To give one obvious example, it contains half as many shaders as RTX 4090 to 7680 compared to 16384. For the RTX 3080 compared to the RTX 3090. This was 8,704 shaders compared to 10,496. This is 80% of the number of shaders. In terms of kinship with the RTX 4090, the new RTX 4080 12GB is more similar to the RTX 3060T with its 4,864 shaders. Except that the RTX 3060T at least had a 256-bit memory bus. The 12GB RTX 4080 has only a 192-bit bus. Oh, and the RTX 4080 costs $900.